Hey guys, this lesson's on finding the electric field at a point in space um, by a, a section of a rod using point charge um, kind of thing. And um, so in this problem, we want to find the charge or the electric field at A due to the center, due to uh, right here at point eight. So um, first of all, we have to give this uh, rod an arbitrary length. Let's say it's like 1.4 meters long. So to find uh, to find from here, we first like let's split it up into eight parts. Um, so we know the length of each of these. So we'll just divide this by eight, and that'll give us um, 0.17. Five meters. So each one of these is 0.175 meters long. So now we need uh, the distance, since this is the origin here, we need the distance from uh, the where the um, point we're trying to get it from to the 8 is. So to do that we'll just take um, this distance for each one and multiply it by 1, 2, 3, half. So three and a half. So point one seven five times three point five, and that will give us point six one two five, and it's going to be negative since we're going below the thing, uh, below the um, origin. So that'll be uh, if this was the origin. This is uh, where this would be on a graph in the y-axis. If we had that, so uh, I guess you could say that the point would be zero, negative point six one two five. That make make more sense. Okay, so now we have to figure out how much charge is on this section right here, this A section. Well, to do that, it's pretty simple, because since this uh, rod and most rods were you will deal with are uniformly charged. That means there's really equal amount of uh, electrons here, 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 and here, and here, and here. So we just divide the total charge, which is negative 8 e to the negative 8th, by 8. So we know the charge of this section right here is just going to be negative 1 e to the negative 8th, since we just divided that by 8 coulombs. Sorry. And um, so if we're trying to find the electric field at A due to this, uh, um, kind of dealing with it as a point charge. All we have to do is uh, just use point charge formula. So let's see, E equals 1 over 4 pi epsilon naught times charge over distance squared times R hat. Okay, well, um, Let's do the easy ones first. Let's we know that this is going to be 9e9 because that's what the constant always is. We know q is going to be negative 1e negative 8th. Um, r is, um, why don't we figure that out real quick because that'll be a little, a little more complicated. So r magnitude is going to be. Um, so this x component, the x component, and the y component. So the square roots of um, 0.7, because that's how far it is away this way. Actually, 0.7 squared plus points or point negative six one two five, because that's how far it is this way. So remember, we're trying to find. Basically, this is our r. Our, our mag. So, the point six one two five. This is I guess this is a negative. Won't really matter because we're squaring it. So that'll end up equaling point nine three three. So this will be on the bottom meter. Sorry, point nine three three squared times r hat. Well, we already have the magnitude, so to find r hat, we just have to put two vector quantities over it. So I'm going to go down here a little bit. 
r hat equals um, our y or x component, which is 0 0.7, 0 0.7 over 0.933, and negative 0.6125 over 0.933. Because remember, r hat equals the magnitude over the vector. And that's how we got that. So now that we have our r hat and all this, we just multiply it out. And that'll give us um, a number. Um, give us a number. Will give us our e will equal. Sorry, kind of running out of space. Negative 78.28. And for our y component, I mean x component, and for our y component, negative 6, 8, point 5. And so that will be our e. So essentially, let's look at this and kind of put it in. Uh, so since we know our x is negative, since here, so it's going to be pointing this way. Let me write it in a different color. We are x component of the E field. I mean, our y is negative. Oops, sorry. Our y is negative, so it'll be pointing this way. So our net E field will be this. And this makes sense because this is a negative, um, negatively charged, and the E field always points towards the negative. So it makes sense that that's what it'll look like. So that's how you do a problem like that. If you have any more questions or really any questions regarding physics, uh, just send me a message and I'll be uh, happy to get back to you as quick as I can. I'll see you next lesson.